So now we will learn about the conditional rendering in the Vue.js. So for example, let's say that conditional rendering means um, is logged in. I am having a variable is logged in. Okay, is logged in. So first time it will be false. So the user is not logged in. Now let's go on to the main .js. So here I am reviewing this one all. I am having this one. User is logged in. And we are having another view. There is nothing but user is not logged in. So these are the two, two views we are having. And we will be having one button at the bottom. So log in. Okay. So we are having this one. If you try to see the output, we are having something like this. User is logged in, user is not logged in, and we need to have a login button. So now what I need to show it here, when the user is logged in, then only I need to say that user is logged in. I should, I should not show this one. And the, when the user is logged in, I need to show this one. When the user is not logged in, I need to show only this message, not this message. So that means depending on the condition, which condition depending on the variable this variable if it is false means then i need to show user is not logged in if it is true means then i need to show user is logged in so depending on the variable i need to show the particular html content so here we are having only single so you can have multiple also so depending on that one depending on the variable we need to show that particular html so for this one we have a directive that is nothing but an v hyphen if Okay, here we can use vi hyphen if. So this is the direct we are having vi hyphen if. vi hyphen if. Okay, if use is logged in. Okay, I can say that is logged in. So logged in. vi hyphen if is logged in. So here this is the variable, right? And I can use something like is equal to is equal to true. So you can use it like this. So when e, e, vi is logged in, is equal to is equal to true, then you need to show it like this. And we can have something like the same scenario if it is not true. If it is not true, then we need to show something like this. Now, if I try to see here, see now we are able to see only one message that is nothing but user is not logged in. If I make it as a true here, if I make it as a true, then we are able to see the message user is logged in. So that means according to the user is logged in and user is not logged in. The, the variable value so this one is showing fine it's fine it's showing fine but i want to have a button in such a way that here at the right click so when i click on this one i need to make the user login toggle so that means click login or something like this i'm using and in this one i can go to the methods and i can have another method check login and here i can do that this dot is logged in is equal to not of this dot is logged in. So if it is there, means I am doing the toggling here. Now if I go here, so whenever we are doing the toggling, now if you see here, so user is logged in, logged in. So if I click here, see, it is toggling. And now here I want to show this one. So when the user is logged in, I need to show logout here. The option I need to show logout. When the user is not logged in, I need to show the login message. So the text message also it needs to change. So what I can do here. So this is a text message, right? I can use a string interpolation. So these are all the combinations we are trying to use it. If user is logged in, this is the variable, then show the message logout. So if it is logged in, means we need to show the message logout. If he is logged in, then show the message like this. Okay, that's it. So now if you try to go to the output here, so it is showing logout. If I click here, it is showing login. See, we are able to use the if, using the if condition, we are able to do it like this. So for example, if you see here, vi fun if is equal to is equal to true. Instead of using this is equal to is equal to true, so now you can use it like this. And this one not right, we can also use the shorthand notation like this, not. This is also one and the same only. Now if you try to refresh this page and use it, same thing it will work. And now we can have, so for example, let's say that we are having vi if and if is equal to logged in and the immediate HTML is nothing but a reverse of this condition means we can use the else condition also here. vi if and else. Okay, if it is logged in, then show this message or else show this message. So this is also another syntax which we can use it using something like vi if and else, vi if else. 
So now if I try to show you see it, so then also it will work fine. So this is also the this is also another syntax which we can do it. So otherwise, if you are uh, not convinced with this means you can use the negation of this one, or otherwise you can use it VFL equals if else is nothing but this like this. But in between this one, you should not have any other div. Okay. So I am having a, a another div like this means then if else will break. So this is this has been broken. Now if you try to say I think maybe the error will come. I think yeah here. See here VIF and else and all those things should be an adjacent adjacent like this so that means this should be one by one at the time then only the evf and if else will work or otherwise it will not work the if else should be like this adjacent to each other that is one thing you need to understand so you do you have it like this something like you have an html like this in between this one then we need to use the old syntax vif and if is equal to not of is not so that depends on that depends on the requirement when you are trying to do it so here see now you are able to see so this all depends on this one <laughs> this is about the if condition so if condition if else condition if you try to if you see here conditional rendering so we have learned about the vif and if so re conditionally render a block vif and else conditionally render a block so here they are trying to do it same thing like this so else statement should must be immediately we have seen this else statement also so vif and else if and if means if we are having multiple if conditions so here we if and else if and if so you can write it like this if else multiple if else conditions so then if p is not logged in then if nothing is happening means then you can use we if and else like this then you can write like this. so now if is logged in means then show this one if it is not logged login false means do show this one if none of this one none of this one is means then show this one like this so multiple chaining of if else condition else if else if condition like this so this is what they are trying to tell you and we are having vif and if on template so we can also use it on template also that one we will try to see it when when we come to the component vif and show vif and show what is the usage of this vif and show is let's try to remove this one all oh sorry uh, you can have it not a problem this one will not be rendered anytime now if you go here the thing is for example if you try to see inspect element here if you see here vif and user is logged in there is only one html here div user is logged in there is only one html if you try to see here there is a button now if i click on the logout immediately see new div has been introduced here but where is that user is logged in gone so that div has been completely removed from the dom if you try to understand that div is completely removed so actually we are having in the dom we are having three three divs here first one is user is logged in user is not logged in hi lila so these are the three elements which you are having in the dom but vue.js will try to render only that element which is true so these remaining all elements it will literally delete it from this dom element if you try to see here see again it has been now this button also is has been introduced see everything is got re-rendered whereas if you try to use this vi if and show i will try to remove this one vi if and show if it is logged in and here we open show so here if it is not logged in so then i am using instead of this one we open show means show this element whenever when when this user is logged in only show this element when the user is not logged in then also the output will work same way only so if you try to see the output will work same way only then also it is working but the difference is you will be able to see the two things so now here using the display none the style property it will try to do it the DOM will actually will be available in this one using the show property. The DOM will be actually available, but the display none will be uh, playing around these two things. So that is one thing which you need to understand between this view V if and if and V if and show. V if and show directive is nothing but it will work something like that only, but <clears throat> it will remain in the DOM. So here he is trying to say it will remain in the DOM. So V if and if V if and show difference is the V if and if is the real condition. It will be lazy. <coughs> So if it is lazy means so then if it is condition is true only then only it will render it to the dom or otherwise it will not render the dom whereas v if and show is a simple thing it will apply the css based toggling that is nothing but display none property so that is the main thing you need to understand so this is all about the conditional rendering different types of conditional rendering available in the vue.js